final presentation of, uh, of this session. It's my pleasure to welcome Keith Morton. He's VP of Sales and Marketing at Invisible, and it's hard to say where this company is from. Origin is Portugal, you have roots in Sweden, you're listed on the stock exchange in Canada, uh, manage, part of the management is in, uh, in California, so it's a really international uh, company. Yes. Working on a, on a special display, he will present on established and new applications for printed e-paper displays. Looking forward to your presentation, Keith. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, complicated further, I'm from New York. So we, we added a new location. But, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to present our technology to you and our applications. <clears throat> so yes, we're based in Canada. Uh, we have Portugal, Clean Shopping in Sweden, and we have technical development in Freiburg, Germany, uh, a little ways from here. What we produce is ultra low power e-paper. I know many of you are probably familiar with e-ink, <clears throat> which is uh, electrophoretic, it is not printed. What we provide is a printed display. Super energy efficient, so we give you the example of powering it with a lemon. We're in the microwatt range and we have some buy stability, which means the display will remain on for a period of time, uh, typically five minutes without having to be refreshed. They're very thin and flexible. It is currently the thinnest display uh, available at about 0.3 millimeters. Uh, not get anything thinner than that if that's what you need ultra thin and of course flexible it will still operate while being flexed <clears throat> we also use cost-effective production I'm sure many of you are familiar with roll-to-roll -roll and sheet-to-sheet -sheet, uh, production we have both methods of production for our displays uh, the sheet-to-sheet -sheet is typically for prototyping and we use roll-to-roll -roll for our full-scale production Of course, being an additive process, like many of our other partners here, uh, it's eco-friendly. We don't have solvents, you know, very low uh, carbon footprint, no ITO, non-toxic, all the things that we're looking for uh, to be a sustainable product. So here are some target markets and actual uh, practical applications. We're starting to produce products uh, with these displays. <clears throat> so our areas of focus, and by these are by no means a limitation of what we do. These are just where we see that our technology is most effective and can be implemented earliest. So digital signage, which is more information, not like some of the digital signage you see with a lot of graphics and pictures. This is really informational. Uh, authenticity and security. So instead of a, um, a hologram, we have something that ch changes. So it is much more secure. You know that it, it can't be counterfeited. Uh, smart monitoring labels. I think you've seen some of the other presenters also talk about this. Uh, we enable the ability to have you know, the label change during the process, either in a package or medicine or vaccinations, things like that can have an active label. And then retail labels and signage like electronic shelf labels, dynamic pricing, things along those lines. Now, go more into each one. <clears throat> Here's an example of some of the digital signage. It's a uh, car charging, uh, a car charging station where you can see which charges are available so you don't wait online where the charger is actually available. And then we also have a dot matrix version, right? This is alphanumeric. And then for dot matrix, we can do, you know, basic emojis and some other icons. And these are larger displays, not, you know, very fine pitch. These are wide pitch, two or three millimeter pixels at least. So here's some of our standard modules, which we are actually displaying in uh, whole B5 booth 118 if you want to take a look at these in action 
So these have the interface electronics that you need. And so they work right out of the box. You can connect them to a microcontroller, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, what have you, and you can interface with them immediately. <clears throat> we also offer custom solutions, fully custom. We can do round displays, any shape, any size. We have the lowest cost uh, in the market to customize a display. You can literally do a fully custom display for around 2,500 euros, which is nothing uh, even close to that in the market. <clears throat> so under the smart monitoring category, we do some logistics and cold chain. So we're monitoring the products while they're shipping and giving the information on the condition of the product when it arrives. We can do smart expiration labels. So uh, similar to, you know, a vaccine that's expired or been exposed to under or over temperature, or it's been sitting on the shelf for too long. And then also for other levels of visualization uh, and processing where it packages in its process. Does it need to still be picked? Is it ready for ship? What have you, uh, but it can be put right on the outside of a box because of how low power and how thin it is. <clears throat> In authenticity and security, we're talking about anti-counterfeiting primarily. So if someone has a product, they can activate the label with their phone and see, oh, the label has changed, the logo has come up. We know this is an authentic product. Uh, we're the, the only place that you can get this done, therefore, you know, you cannot counterfeit it. So there's a lot of counterfeiting with numbers and counterfeiting with logos, but with an active logo, extremely difficult to counterfeit. Uh, in retail signage, we're talking about mostly dynamic pricing, is something on sale, right? So these are, sorry, these are very simple. So, no, sorry, these are very simple signs. So they're just giving you the price, uh, maybe what the product is. It could be in transportation. We might be talking about a train is arriving at five o'clock, or now it's arriving at you know six o'clock, right? It's not giving you a picture of the train or different colors or models that items can come in. It's just basic information, but it's very cost effective and very easy to integrate. So. We're not really saying, oh, we're going to replace a TFT colored display with our display. What we're saying is we're going to replace a printed poster with now our active display that can give you dynamic information, right? So the information can change in real time. You don't need an employee to run, take down one poster and put another poster up. There's just some other examples, dynamic information. It could be information about allergy of a food or just what's new and on sale. And we have some of these actual labels in our in our booth. This is another really interesting market is, again, this is dynamic pricing, but because our product is printed, we really enable much, much lower cost and much broader adoption of the product uh, across a lot of different products. So mostly you see electronic sh shelf labels now they're on high-end products like appliances or phones, things that cost a few hundred dollars or even a few thousand. But with a really low cost uh, product, a printed product, we're starting to see labels now on individual clothing items, which is really good because if an item is say, sitting on the shelf for a long period of time, you can expire the one, you can lower the price on the one item without lowering the price on the high moving item. So it's giving really granular um, adjustment of price down to the single item level. So we're saying work with us. We, we can work on any application. Um, we're open to other ideas as well, but these are the ones we're going with first. And we have, we can do prototyping, high volume, and we also do R&D as we mentioned and we're open to a lot of different uh, ideas. We have some sample kits, so you can try these out you know, without doing uh, your own custom display right off the bat. They're available on our website, and again, you can come to our booth. And any questions you may have, I'll be happy to answer here or at booth 118 in hall B5.
Thank you very much. This optical interfaces, new machine interfaces are, are important. As we all know from our displays, are there any questions from the audience? <clears throat> so you mentioned um, you, have, you have very low price and low, low thickness. If you compare it to other of these reflective bistable technologies, you mentioned e-ink. I think there are also some special liquid crystals. Can you comment on that? Uh, yeah, on the let's say an A4 size sign which we just launched at the booth today, it's approximately one third the price, maybe even one quarter the price. On the small sizes, we're approximately half the price. But also the implementation cost and the uh, enclosure cost is much less as well. So if you look at the total cost of ownership, in some cases we can be 10% of the price, which really opens up new applications where you wouldn't normally use it, uh, you know, not just to compete with what's there, but to open up a broader audience, a broader uh, applications and markets. It's different areas. Of course, you cannot do high resolution, if I understand right. It's low information content right, is right. Is, is information right. only. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good. Yeah, if there's yeah, if you want to meet invisible hole B five, 